hey, more gamers, it's time to come on over and make up crazy reviews. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah, that's right, it's Crazy Taxi. This one actually is the PlayStation 3 version, but this has been on so many platforms, including Dreamcast, where it originated, PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, GameCube. I even think the Wii's got a version. So, how's this one going to stack up? We'll find out. First up, do you like driving games? In fact, do you like open world driving games? Because that's what this is. Crazy Taxi is one of the first popularized open world living environment sandbox titles. What's that mean? It means that traffic and everything else that's moving around there, except for the clients that you have to pick up, pretty much is going to change each time you run through, which gives the game a lot of variety, making every run very interesting. So. How's the game start? You get four cabbies, and each cabbie is going to play a little bit different. Um, BD Joe, the uh, black dude there, he has the highest top speed, but low acceleration. Axel is most well rounded, Gus has the best handling, and my personal favorite is Gina because she's got the best acceleration. And for a beginner, we're accelerating and getting to your top speed and cruising right as quick as possible after a pickup. That's what seems to be most important around here. But there's a whole lot of tips and tricks that you can do in this, like crazy jumps, crazy dashes, things like that. And if you master that, you can pretty much play with any character and have a lot of success. Well, except Gus, he's just kind of the, the pro character or something like that. So what makes Crazy Taxi fun? Well, the original had Offspring, uh, Bad Religion, and a few other punk bands that just made the, made the soundtrack pulse-pounding, really wild. It was frantic and it was fun. That's what was awesome about the original. Unfortunately, these later ones, they stripped out some of the stuff. They stripped out Popcorn Mania, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Pizza Hut, uh, and some of the other just name brand titles that were in here. Uh, don't know why exactly, but I, I kind of miss them from the Green Pass version. Nevertheless, though, the gameplay. The gameplay is really simple. You steer, you... You steer, you brake, you accelerate, and you switch between forward and reverse. That's it. It's not hard to learn, and you can have a decent amount of success without using any of the special tricks. So yeah, this is actually a really easy to learn, really fun arcade game. This one munched a lot of quarters back in the day. And there is actually, although it's an endless tight style game, there is actually an ending if you can get an S ranking, which means you have to somehow earn $5,000 after your deliveries. Do it, and hey, it's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. They give you a little credit roll and stuff like that, but it's nothing major. For the most part, though, you're going to be driving around, having fun kicking it. I don't know how to describe this game except for fun. So when it comes to the question of if this is the right game for you, if you like a title, you can pick up and play it anytime and enjoy a lot of mindless, crazy driving and with the soundtrack that usually pumps it. I mean, even this new one, the soundtrack's not that bad. I would recommend Crazy Taxi. I think this one usually goes for about five bucks on the networks. Um, so yeah, it is a cheap and expensive way and the game actually can be played for hours on end because each run feels so different. So recommendation, yes. Yes, we recommend Crazy Taxi. Moral standpoint, uh, you're driving like a maniac, you don't run over pedestrians, which is cool, but you're driving like a maniac. If you have issues with that, eh, might not be one for the kids. And and the funny thing is, they do have uh, a reverend who, when you deliver him, if you do it in the right, time, right amount of time, he says, hey, you're one hell of a driver. If you have issues with that, you know, yeah, it's, it's going to be something mild profanity there. But other than that, though... This is a very family-friendly game. I do play this one with my kids. Alright, it's time to check out how you did today. Now let's take a look. Uh, class B lessons. You decided to play it safe, huh? Come back next time and show us your best. Game over. Uh -huh.